I got a package today from Russia, otherwise known as Russia. Um, and uh, my stamps. That's pretty, that's pretty good. What did I get from Russia? Cool tubes. I'm gonna zoom out a bit here. So what are these? These are um, MTX-90s. Uh, a lot of people buy these just for the decimal place or the colon actually in a clock. <laughs> They put, they put four of them in the clock and make decimal points out of them. But that's not their intended purpose. Their intended purpose is actually a, uh, a trigger circuit. So if you saw my video, I'll try to remember to put a link down below on a three leg uh, neon light bulb that was a trigger light bulb. It was an NE77. Um, this is kind of a bigger brother uh, and I've never had one before. So they look pretty cool. Uh, they are uh, three legs, like I said. <clears throat> a little bit closer. Uh, three legs. And uh, this one has a paint mark on it. So this one's the cathode, this one's the anode, and this one's the gate. Uh, so cathode, anode, and gate. Sounds like an FET, right? Uh, and they basically are kind of like an FET. Um, so let me... Uh, let me show you one that I cracked open. <laughs> so here's one that I removed the uh, glass from. Crashed it with a, anyway, opened it up. <laughs> um, and there's some cool metal structures in, in here, of course, that connect to the metals on the outside here. And they have little solder blobs on the outside, uh, which is kind of cool, pretend pre to be added. Because a lot of times those, those uh, um, neon light bulbs, are, you, you have a hard time soldering to them. They just, that's like steel or something. They just don't want to be soldered to. These are pre tinned which is really, really nice. So, so what do these look like? I, I made a drawing of it. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, my drawing's too big. There we go. There's my drawing. All right. So the drawing is, uh, the cathode is this big ring here. Okay. It's uh, where's my thing? It's just a tube of, of, uh, of metal. It's just, it's just a hollow. A hollow tube of metal and it's got a little connector on here and that goes to the outside world so you can you can put some potential on this this tube there's a second tube that comes out over here and then there's a center pin uh, it's in a it's in like a glass tube and at the end it's concentric it almost looks like a coax and the little metal bit sticks out a little bit further than where the where the glass stops and uh, that is the anode. And so things kind of want to go from, from here to here, but there's this thing in the middle. And depending on the potential of this thing, the gas will either uh, discharge or not. Uh, so that is the gate, all right? So these things are operate at voltages, like, you know, kind of like neon light bulbs and stuff. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's hook one up and see if we can make it work. Okay, I'm going to be using my high, power, high voltage power supply. I'm going to use a uh, series resistor to limit the current. So I'll use this resistor box here. Uh, turn this thing on to voltage. That's about 150 volts going on right now. So don't do this at home. It's dangerous. All right, uh, let's zoom down here. So I've got uh, 47K. For, 47,000 ohms. And so uh, cathode, anode, there's a little dot here. So cathode, we'll put the ground on. Anode, we'll put the uh, pus on. And uh, nothing happens. And so we need to have a little insulated bit of metal. Let's try this. Uh, try this screwdriver. It has a plastic handle on it. And I will short the... Uh, anode and the gate and there it goes and it comes on and it stays on oh once it kind of gets going it, it, it stays a going uh, so let's uh, where are my room lights I turn the room lights off here there it is glowing it doesn't it kind of glows from the back side too but there's, there's a metal tube in there so it doesn't glow it doesn't glow from the side 
Um, but yeah, it. Uh, and then if I uh, remove the remove the break the current, it's kind of like an SCR, right? Break it, and I come in and I short those out again. There it goes. I could probably stick my tongue on it, but I won't. <laughs> I don't know. I remember that uh, guy who talked about that in the. Uh, any seven 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 any seven any seven seven that's it any seven seven tubes anyway uh, yeah these are little trigger tubes uh, I think they're good for like thirty five milliamps or something I forget um, we could take a look at the uh, we could take a look at the data sheet for them um, but you can just uh, let's see here let me let me break the connection here so I don't short myself out here if we just kind of tie the gate the gate and the anode together, short them together, then it should just work all the time. So let's uh, turn it on. And there we go. Oh, they're not shorted out. There we go. There we go. Oops. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, it would work. Uh, it would work all the time. If we go from, oh, we should turn it off again so I don't kill myself. If we go from the uh, cathode to the to the gate just the cathode to the gate that would be interesting let's see what that does cathode to the gate it glows it glows pretty nice so what am I doing uh, I'll get back to the picture here so that would be from from here to here so we're just making it glow right here and then let's try the gate gate to the cathode that should glow too since they're right next to each other, so gate to cathode. Uh, let's see here. Where's that what we're doing? Uh, let's see, this is gate to, oh, well, this is gate to cathode. This is gate to cathode, so, oh, <coughs> excuse me. Hmm. So we're doing these two. Let's do anode to gate. Anode to gate, we'll put the negative on the anode. And that didn't work. And let's put the positive on the anode and go to the gate. Let's see if that works. And that doesn't work either. So, interesting. All right, so I guess if you want to light them up all the time, the best way to do it is uh, gate to cathode. And then it's nice and lit, nice and lit all the time in a tubular fashion. Anyway, I don't know what to do with these things, but they're super cheap and uh, they're just a really unusual. Let me turn this off. Get shocked on it. Um, yeah, I uh, forget what I paid for them. They were pretty cheap. Um, but these look like they were built in 1982, if I had to guess. The ninth week or ninth month of 1982. Um, old Russian stock. Anyway. There you go. And we can read the data sheet here. This one's in Russian, but it's got it uh, decoded here. Brightness, 80 candelas per meter square, 60 degree viewing angle, uh, grid to cathode, 140 volts. If grid, oh, shoot. If grid current discharge maintaining voltage, 65 volts. Grid cathode, 85 volts. Discharge inception, two, Milli kilo amps. K, I don't know what that even means. K A. Uh, on off operation. Thirty five milliamps. On off operation. I don't know. Input signal amplitude one and a half to fifteen volts. Well, that's it. So I guess you can fire these things at real low voltages. It just takes a little bit to kick them over. So there's the uh, kind of the little insignia there. That's that's kind of there's a the little dot on it. Yeah, they're kind of fun. I like them.